What is going on, H2O Army? Justin from H2O Plants here, and today we're discussing how to trim these sword plants and crypto coins. Stay tuned. So, I've been asked several times, how do you trim sword plants and how do you trim crypts and other plants like this? This will pretty much go for any kind of sword. Um, a lot of people say, well look, my plant is falling apart, it's got translucent leaves, or it's browning, or it's yellowing, what do I do? And the answer to this question is one, first, is there new growth popping up? On this particular plant, yes, here's a new leaf. So what does that mean? That means the plant is doing well, it's transitioning, it's good. Normally when you get a new plant in your tank, regardless if it's grown in a tank or grown above the water, it's going to have some sort of melting involved with it. And melting is just the uh, deterioration. Can't say it. Deterioration. There we go. <laughs> Proper English of the leaf. So you can see here that these particular plants are, in fact, uh, going translucent and browning here. And what you would do is you would pluck these leaves off all the way down at the base, or you could use scissors and cut this. However, you don't want to do this unless you see new growth. So I see new growth so I can remove safely all these leaves if I wanted to. I'm going to leave these other two leaves just for now because this particular plant um, I feel may have a problem if I remove the rest of them because it only has this one little bit, bitty leaf here. Uh, it has another one sprouting up at the bottom right here. And I just want to let this plant have the best possible chance of surviving. So. I'm not going to trim any more leaves off here, I'm just going to stick it back in the substrate when I clean up this tank a little bit, because as you can see it's a mess right now. And then the other plant is Cryptocorns. So Cryptocorns, uh, the main thing with Cryptocorns is they're going to melt no matter where you get them from uh, when you put them in your tank, 99% of the time. Now, of course, there's always the exception of the rule where, hey, you get it in and it doesn't melt on you. Well, congratulations, uh, you did pretty good for yourself and you got a, a crypt that was really hardy and didn't melt. But crypts typically melt when they transition just because they're fragile leaves. So what happens is, you know, you may see uh, some rips in the leaf like this or some holes or discoloration. So what you would do is the same step that you would do with the Amazon sword. You trace it back to the bottom of the plant and you would remove the leaf just like so. Now, of course, if this is in your substrate, you may not be able to get down that close to the roots. However, get as close to, to it as possible and just remove the leaf once you see uh, some holes or any kind of coloration that differs from its normal coloration or any issues with that leaf. However, you don't want to do that until it has new growth. So like I said about the Amazon swords, wait till you see some new leaves popping up and then pluck the old leaves and uh, make room for the new ones. The reason why you want to do this is because when a plant's leaf is yellowing or going translucent like this plant, um, what it's trying to do is reabsorb the nutrients that are inside this leaf to use them to generate new leaves. Now you may say, well, why would I want to trim it then if it's doing that? And basically because the plant is devoting more energy to consuming this leaf for energy than it is putting out a new leaf. And if you remove this old leaf completely, it will absorb nutrients from your soil versus trying to absorb its own leaf again and make a new leaf faster and that's really what you want to try and do and you want to try and get it uh, you know growing great so put it in your tank when you first get a plant in and if it's been in there for a while then you can trim it but once you have it in there wait a couple weeks wait till you see some new leaves one or two at least and once you see three leaves total you can remove all the old leaves and that's normally how I do it uh, don't trim the leaf like don't cut it like this that just damages it and causes it to die sooner you could also relate that same concept to jungle valves and any kind of dwarf sag or sagittaria. You want to remove the leaf at the base. I'm going to do an entirely different video for uh, jungle valve, but don't trim the leaves uh, to keep them at a certain height. Pluck the old leaves. So uh, one other thing about trimming Amazon swords and crypts, when you trim off big old leaves or just trim off tall leaves in general, what you're telling the plant is that's not okay. And what'll happen is it'll actually start growing shorter, bushier leaves until it feels that, hey, maybe I should grow a bigger leaf, let's see what happens. And then it pops up a new leaf, 
and then you trim that off and then it gets back to being short and compact if you want to keep it bushy like that or you could just let it grow out of control and just trim off old leaves as they die on you so guys i hope you uh enjoyed this video i hope you learned something if you did make sure to drop a share and a like and all that good stuff if you want to see some other stuff in a future video be sure to leave a question or a comment down below tell me what you would like to see next and i will see you guys on the next episode Later.